Hi Doctor, my name is Wong Ching Kang, can call me CK, my machine number is A18011010. Today, I will do the presentation for the subject BEV30401, Power Engineering Lab 1, Experiment at Open Loop and Closed Loop Position Control System. I'm from Group 10 and there are three group members in our group, which is No Shahila Bindi Ahmad Safawi, the machine number is DE20093, and the second one is Nuh Hidayah Najwa Bindi Saruddin, the machine number is AE190039, and the third one is me. And my friend will continue to the presentation for the activity one. Hi, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nuh Hidayah Najwa Bindi Saruddin, and my machine number is AE190039. I'm going to do the activity one, Open Loop Condition Control. Okay, now we are going to set all the parameters in the coding part. So VA is 220 volt, which is the rated motor terminal voltage. And then JM is 0.222 kilogram meter square, which is moment of inertia of the motor. Next is DM, 0.003 nms per radian which is motor viscous friction constant. Next one is RE, 11.2 ohm, electrical resistance. Next one is LA, 0.121 Henry, electrical inductance. Next is N, 1500 RPM, which is the rated motor speed. And last one is KP 0.61111. Potential meter gain or constant. So, this is the code for the parameter based on table 3.1. Okay, now we are going to construct the block diagram based on figure 3.4 open loop position control. First of all, we need to run the code and then we can start to construct the product. First, we need to add constant and then we add gain. After that, we need to add three transfer function. Okay, now we are going to set for each transfer function. This one is LA plus RA Okay And then we need to set the next one Which is JM plus BM And the last one is 1 over S So we set, we change that one to 0 And this one we change to KP Okay, now we can connect each component. Now, we need to label each component based on the figure. This one is mechanical part. This one is electrical part. Next is attenuator gain. This one is potential meter gain. And last one is input angle. Okay, we also need to add to display which is which is shaft motor position and input voltage shaft motor position and input voltage okay so this is the block diagram that we construct based on figure 3.4 Okay, after we already construct the block diagram and key in all the parameters, first we need to check the block simulation by keying input angle 1 and intermeter gain value is 1. So, first we 
first we need to run this code and then after that we set the input angle 1 and estimate the gain 1 okay, and then we run the dot diagram so now we must see that whether the input voltage and shaft motor position show the value so now we can see that there is a value shown here which means the block diagram is functioning Okay, next we increase step by step the value of input angle from 0 to 10 and set 18 meter gain to 0. And then we need to observe the shaft motor position display and what happened to this system. Okay, we need to set the 18 meter gain to 0. And input angle we set to 0 first until 10. The first one we need to set 0. Then we run the block diagram. Okay, we can see that the input voltage is 0 and the shaft motor position also 0. Next we set to the input angle to 1. Okay, when the input angle is 1, input voltage is 0 0.611, 0 0.6111, and the shaft motor position is 0. Next is input angle 2. You can see the shaft motor position is also 0. The input voltage is 1.222. Next, input angle 3. When input angle 3, the shaft motor position is also 0. The input voltage is 1.833. Next is 4. When input angle is 4, the shaft motor position is 0. And input voltage is 2.444. Next, we set the input angle to 5. When input angle 5, the shaft motor position is 0 and input voltage is 3.056. Next, input angle 6. When input angle is 6, the shaft motor, is, shaft motor position is 0 and input voltage is 3.667. Next is 7. When input angle is 7, the shaft motor position is 0 and input voltage is 4.278. And then input angle 8. When input angle is 8, the shaft motor position is 0 and input voltage is 4.889. And then 9. When input angle is 9, the shaft motor position is 0 and input voltage is 5.5. And last one is 10. When input angle is 10, the shaft motor position is also 0 and input voltage is 6.111. Okay, now we need to increase step by step the value of 18 meter gain from 0 to 10 and set the input angle to 0. And then we need to observe the shaft motor position display and what happened to this system. So now we need to set the 18 meter gain from 0 to 10 and input angle to 0. So input angle is 0. Now we need to change the 18 meter gain from 0 to 10. So when 18 meter gain is 0, Input angle also 0, the input voltage and shaft motor position is 0. And then we change the attenuator gain to 1. We run. If attenuator gain is 1, the input voltage and shaft motor position is 0. And then we change to 2. Also we get 0, both for shaft motor position and input voltage. And then we change to 3. When the attenuator gain is 3, the input voltage and shaft motor position is 0. And then we change to 4. Also, we get 0 for shaft motor position and input voltage. Next, attenuator gain 5. We get input voltage and shaft motor position is 0. And then we change to 6. Also, we get 0 for input voltage and shaft motor position. And then we change to 7. We get 0 for both input voltage and shaft motor position. Then we change to 8. Also 0 for shaft motor position and input voltage. Then we change to 9. Also we get 0. And lastly we change to 10. We get input voltage and shaft motor position is 0. Okay, next we need to set the input angle 5, 10 and 360. Positive for potential meter clockwise and negative for anti clockwise. And fit in the result in temperature point 2. So first, when the potential meter is clockwise, the 18 meter gain is 1. Input angle is 5 for clockwise. So after we set, we run, we get input voltage is 3.056 and shaft motor position is 58.64. This is for input angle 5, clockwise and 18 meter gain 1. Okay, next we need to set the potential meter as anti-clockwise. And 18 meter gain is 1. And click clockwise. And 18 meter gain is 1. So we run. 
you get the input voltage is negative 3.056 and shock motor position is negative 58.64 and next one clockwise uh, 10 and anti meter gain 5 okay. so this one you change to 10 as anti uh, clockwise anti meter gain is 5 okay. now we get the input voltage is 6.111 and shock motor position 586.4 then we change it to anti clockwise So when the input angle is anti-clockwise, the input voltage is negative 6.111 and shock motor position is negative 586.4. Next is clockwise for 360, atomic gain 8. Atomic we change to 8. This one is clockwise 360. And we get the input voltage is 220 and shock motor position is 3. We get 3377919. Next is for the anti clockwise. We get negative 220 and shock motor position. For info voltage, negative 220 and shock motor position, negative 3377919. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Lucia Rebenta Ahmad Safawi. My matrix number is DE200093. So today I will explain about activity 3.3.2 which is closed loop position control. So first of all, we need to construct the block diagram in figure 3.1 using MATLAB software. So second, we need to key in all parameter value into the simulink block that we have construct uh, in the MATLAB software. So we need to conclude the parameter VA, JM, BM, LA, RA, N and lastly KP into the block diagram. Now we need to check block simulink by keying input angle value is 1 and alternator gain value is 1 and if input voltage and shaft motor position display show the value is mean block diagram if function. So as you can see in this video, this is how we change the input angle uh, to 1 and alternator gain to 1. Now for we need to increase step by step value of input angle from 0 until uh, 10 and set the alternator gain to 0. So we need to observe the shaft motor position display and what happened to the system. When input angle is 0, the input voltage is 0. When input angle is 1, the input voltage is 0 0.61. When input angle is 2, the input voltage is 1.2. When it turns to 3, the input voltage is 1.83. When input angle value is 4, the input voltage is 2.4. When input angle is 5, the input voltage is 3.06. When input angle is 6, the input voltage is 3.67. When angle is uh, value is 7, the voltage is 4.69. When angle value is 8, the input voltage is 4.89. When input angle is 9, the input voltage is 5.5. And lastly, 10 is the input voltage is 6.1. For number 5, we need to increase step by step of alternator gain from 0 till 10 and set the input angle to 0. So, as you can see in the video, this is how we increase step by step of alternator gain from 0 to 10. Lastly, for number 6, we need to set input angle 5, uh, 150 and 360, uh, negative uh, clockwise, negative anti-clockwise, and uh, we need to fill in the result into the table as I have concluded in my report. So that's all from me, thank you. Hi Toto, and now I will do the presentation for the conclusion. After complete exercise app, we learn about open loop and closed loop position control system. We are able to use MATLAB simulink to construct the block diagram and do the setting for this exercise. From the result we get in the simulation, we calculate the average error percentage of open loop and closed loop position control. The result show that open loop and closed loop position control got average error percentage. Even both position control are different. That's all my presentation. Thank you.